what is up guys today we'll be talking about the oneplus 7 pro so one of my subscribers pointed it out it actually dropped to 450 which is very very nice deal so the one i have is actually the 6 gig 128 gigabyte version this one is the 8 gig 256 version and uh, it's a very very solid deal so this is actually the phone that i still prefer even over the galaxy s20 plus and one of the reasons why i prefer uh this phone is definitely because of the display i just really really love full screen displays and this one is a really nice ones at 90 hertz 1440p 6.7 inch AMOLED display it's got the curved glass so it feels super premium and uh, it's just beautiful to look at it's one of my favorite displays on any smartphone and it's super smooth with the 90 hertz and uh, you'll just love uh, watching media so if you're super media focused on your phone then this is going to be something that you're really uh, going to enjoy so this phone does have the snapdragon 855 uh, which is still very very fast uh, it's definitely uh, more than capable of playing any game on the google play store emulators whatever i've done it on this phone uh no problem so that's one of the things and gaming at 90 hertz uh does make a difference so if you're a gamer uh, that's definitely a highlight to have that high refresh rate you've also got stereo speakers on here as well which is pretty loud so i even like to listen to music out loud uh, with this phone and it is uh very satisfying very loud does not distort or anything like that uh, so i want to talk about the camera so it's got a triple camera setup up. and most people have said that you know the cameras on the 7 pro are weak compared to the samsung's and the uh iphones and stuff like that and um you know they aren't uh bad as bad as people say they are they're actually really good as you can see from these stills uh, i was satisfied when i took it to vegas uh so um i even took the video on it too the video on here is really great as well but uh you know the photos on here are super solid so don't let anyone tell you that uh, the photos are just going to be really weak uh, you got great dynamic range great color signs great depth of feel i just say an overall a really good camera oneplus has been updating uh, the camera app so you have that image processing and then you have the g cam port uh, as well so if you just want to get the best out of the camera you can download that uh, too uh, but very very solid cameras on this device uh, so I also want to talk about uh, just the hardware in general it's a very very nice solid feeling phone uh, it is a glass and metal device so it just feels super premium and very very thin uh, as well which I want to point out so that's also one of my favorite things about this phone is just the build quality and also oxygen OS is very important to talk about as well because uh, I think we actually got Android 10 before uh, the Galaxy phones did so that uh, was really impressive uh, so oxygen OS is extremely smooth you always get security updates and um, it's just an overall very very nice and clean UI and it is uh, pretty customizable it's not super has a lot of uh, crazy features like only uh, one UI but it does have enough customization uh, for you to be able to customize to your liking now this phone does have a 4,000 milliamp battery with some really fast uh, quick charging so this phone usually lasts me all day and um it also does not die really fast when you're gaming uh, but if you are gaming it does have the quick charge feature which uh, it just charges extremely fast so that's one of the things I really love about this phone and I guess one of the negatives about this phone will probably be that it does not have wireless charging uh, so that's something that's not on here and wireless charging is really convenient to just put your phone down and to be able to you know charge your phone uh, so that is one thing that I miss on here but it being able to charge so fast is definitely uh, you know it's definitely a solid for me so this phone also has nfc for mobile payments uh, as well and you also do not have um, expandable storage with a SD card uh, which is something that also I feel like this phone should have uh, but it does not but it's not been it's not a huge thing for me I just wish it had it for you know those power users uh, so you know the not a lot of negative stuff to talk about with this phone uh, this is a very good solid solid phone so there's not too much uh, I could use this phone uh, for the rest of 2020 uh, but I am planning on getting the OnePlus 7 uh, T Pro 5G um, but if I had to use this phone for the rest of 2020 20 uh, I would definitely uh, be happy with it no problem so this is an awesome awesome flagship one of my favorite phones still uh, to this day uh, so what do you guys think about the 7 Pro be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one